Hello, welcome to session two, where we discuss how to install the AdventureWorks database. So quite often when I'm recording videos, people do ask me that, you know, um, how, what is the correct way of installing AdventureWorks database? And since in this entire series, we would be using the AdventureWorks database, I thought I'll make a very short video wherein, um, you know, I'll try to install some sample databases. And these are the databases exactly which we are going to work with in this entire um, SSRS series. Um, so I have just copy pasted a link over here. This is basically the CodePlex website. You can just do a search on the CodePlex site and you will get um, basically the location for AdventureWorks database. So um, I have just stored this link over here and I'm going to just fire up the URL. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to download this exe file. So it should take about a few seconds to download. I'll just pause the video up till. Okay, so once this is done, I'm going to run this exe file and it will just unzip all the files and then it will give you a wizard through which you can configure a connection string and the databases will be automatically installed. So likewise, let me just fire up bids and go to my oops, my database instance. Okay, so this is where we are going to install our AdventureWorks database. So let me just quickly run through this wizard. All right, so the first thing that you need to do is select the instance. Now here we're going to select the SSRS Express. And here you get a list of components that it is going to install. So um, there are certain things which you'll need to install via bids, but whatever is available right now, um, we are going to install it using this setup. So let me click on install and then it should probably start installing the databases. That should take a minute or two. Let me just refresh it and you see that some of the databases have started to form over here. Okay, so the installation is complete. I'm going to click on finish and I'm going to refresh the databases over here. And you find that a couple of databases have been installed over here. So one is the data warehouse and so on and so forth. So if you just expand the tables, you see that you have pretty much all the tables that we would be working with. So let me just choose a table and select the top thousand rows and you should be seeing the data in it. So yeah, that was pretty much it. It's pretty simple. You download an exe file, point to the right instance, and then it um, just installs everything for you. All right. Thank you.